In this video, we'll talk about risk factors for heart disease. There are many risk factors that you do not have any control over, such as your family history and age, but there are many factors that can contribute to the likelihood of having heart problems or a heart attack. Therefore, to reduce the likelihood of heart attack, you have to change your diet, lifestyle, and attitude. Most people will have at least one condition or habit that is a major risk factor for developing heart disease. Each one increases your chance of developing MI, as each risk factor you eliminate will substantially reduce your chances of heart disease. Now, let's talk about the risk factors for heart disease. Genetic or family history. If you have a family history of people with heart disease, this can increase your chances of developing a similar type of condition. But it does not mean that you are destined to develop a heart condition. It only means you're more likely to have this condition. If you take the necessary steps to look after your heart, you can reduce the chances of developing all forms of heart disease. After menopause, some women are more likely to develop heart problems because at this stage of their life they are producing less estrogen so they need to vary their diet accordingly. Statistics have revealed that African Americans are a group that has higher instances of diabetes, high blood pressure, heart attacks, and strokes than other groups. Obesity and its effects Obesity is a growing global problem. Someone who is obese has four times the likelihood of developing heart diseases. Furthermore, those with a family history of high blood pressure or diabetes will have a higher risk for heart disease. Obesity is now recognized as an inflammatory disease. It's often thought to be a symptom or indication of other conditions a person may have not as it used to be considered just an eating disorder. Different studies have confirmed that obesity is a major contributor to causing heart disease and heart attacks. Poor diet, the wrong foods, clogged heart vessels, strokes. There is absolutely no doubt that having a poor diet or a diet that is deficient in many vital nutrients is a leading contributor to the extremely high incidences of heart disease that have become a reality for many people today. Our foods have been stripped of a large portion of their natural goodness by processing and artificial methods used to grow them. Processed salt, highly refined grains, high fructose corn syrup, and refined vegetable oils are the four poisons that are found in most of our diets. The combination of these clog up the arteries and blood vessels of the lungs and heart, causing heart disease. Smoking. Everyone is aware that smoking is likely to damage your lungs, but many do not seem to realize that it's also one of the leading reasons for people to have a heart attack. In fact, about one in every five people who die from a heart attack do so because of smoking. If you smoke, you are at least four times more likely to get heart disease than non-smokers, and the risks are even higher for women who take birth control pills. Secondhand smoke exposure is also a risk factor for having a heart attack. The nicotine in cigarette smoke reduces the amount of oxygen your lungs can send to your heart. It also raises blood pressure and speeds up a person's heart rate. Nicotine is also known to harm the insides of blood vessels and arteries and to increase the chances of blood clots forming. Drinking Moderate alcohol consumption may provide some health benefits, such as reduce your risk of developing and dying from heart disease, possibly reduce your risk of ischemic stroke, when the arteries to your brain become narrowed or blocked causing severe reduced blood flow possibly reduce your risk of diabetes. Even so, the evidence about health benefits of alcohol is uncertain, and alcohol may not benefit everyone who drinks. Everyone produces a small amount of alcohol internally each day as part of the metabolizing of food. This small amount of alcohol is absorbed and burnt as energy. Drinking a small amount of alcohol can help some people because it helps to raise good cholesterol, HDL, levels. At the same time, reduces bad cholesterol, LDL, levels. It helps to stop blood clotting, tends to thin the blood, and allows for easier bleeding that could help to hold off a heart attack, but only if used in moderation. High Cholesterol 
Cholesterol has been blamed for heart disease for many years. But it is now known that cholesterol is in fact healthy. It is one of the most important substances the body produces. After all, the body needs cholesterol to carry out its functions. For instance, our brain and liver are made of good cholesterol. Our body can produce cholesterol on its own. However, problems arise when we consume too much bad cholesterol, known as LDL or low density lipoproteins. Eating processed sugars, hydronated vegetable oils, and too much omega-6 fatty acids can cause an oversupply of LDL. LDL helps to carry cholesterol around our body to the areas that need it. When there is too much of it, the excess can cling to the walls of the arteries, irritating and clogging them up, preventing enough oxygen-rich blood from reaching your brain, heart, and other organs. Diabetes People with diabetes tend to have a high blood glucose level, which can, over time, damage your blood vessels and especially the nerves that control the blood vessels in your heart. Many people with diabetes can develop heart disease at a young age, and those with diabetes are almost twice as likely to have heart failure as non-diabetics. As with all heart conditions, if you take proper steps to manage your diabetes, your risk factors will substantially reduce. Physical activity. Doing very little or no physical activity is a major cause of heart disease and heart attacks. This is because they can't burn up excess, so it's turned into fat. The body is designed to perform a certain amount of activity daily to keep it supple, healthy, and function properly. When the body takes in more food and energy than it needs over an extended period, this will lead to obesity, which can lead to many diseases. The body needs exercise to stay in peak condition, which is a good way to ensure heart health. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.